All right, so just got the cooling system all finished up. What you see is this is the mixing block and spray nozzle. The uh, in the tank there is just a uh, it's just just a plastic jar that we get uh, pretzels in at the office, uh, and that's just water with green food coloring, uh, just in case I was trying to see if it would help uh, help me to see it when it comes out, and then. There, the little thing you see there is just the uh, just a little manifold, just the supply air to the tank and then the air straight to the unit. So I will try to do this one-handed. I'll go ahead and turn on the air. Um, it's not as much of airflow as I was expecting. Nevertheless, and I'll get out a piece of cardboard here so we can see this. So we've got the air going. I'm just going to crack the water just so you can see it. There you can hear it. There's a tiny little mist there. So that's just barely open. Or you can turn it into a full on flood. All that. The total range of adjustment, though, is over the course of about half a turn. Look at that. Bubbles coming through the line. You can really see it. But that right there looks like it's going to be a good setting for milling aluminum, steel, it just by general milling and, and turning, I think it's going to do exactly what I need it to do. And so all I've got here is just, uh, those are uh, two um, needle valves with 1-8 uh, pipe threads on them. And they accept quarter inch OD vinyl tubing, which is what I've got here. It's a little bit under 3 16 inner diameter. Um, and then on the tank itself, what I actually did was I uh, just through the top there, I actually took a half inch diameter rod that I turned and I heated it up and then I melted a couple of holes into the, the top there to give me a clean breakthrough because I tried drilling with the drill bit and I wanted to crack and break the top. And so those fittings that I made there um, they're just type, uh, tapped with an 8 pipe thread uh, and then they're threaded on the bottom side and if you can hear it there's just a slight leak if I can turn this where you guys can see it and one it's just an open hole and it dumps straight out that's the air going in to pressurize the tank the other threaded with a half 13 on the outside. Um, that's the lock nut that I'm using, half 13. And then I internally tapped it for another 1 8 pipe thread fitting. And then, so I had to put that on, put the half 13 nut on first, then screw in the fitting. And then that has the uh, tube that goes down, just the feed tube. So those are, you know, pretty easy to make. And then there's some, uh, They've got rubber washers that I put that I bought um, that are just sam sandwiched there between washers on either side, just to help seal it up. I do have a little bit of leaking. I put a couple layers of duct tape around the threads, just really cut down the, on the leaking. Uh, that little bit that's leaking out, I am not too worried about at all. But I would say at this point, the uh, the system is a success. So. Now we've just got to uh, drill and tap right here for a, uh, I'm going to drill and tap for a quarter twenty 
um, then that way I can put in a quarter to twenty rod with a three eighths diameter shank on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the uh, indicator holder can grab onto that, and then we can position it however we want with the indicator holder. So, uh, and I may at some point try to open up this orifice a little bit more. Like I said, it's only forty five thousandths. Uh, I feel like it's maybe a bit small. I don't know. Uh, I can always make another one and try some different things out. So that's something to look at in the future is possibly to do another. But uh, like I said, so far I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. If you got any questions, just let me know. Thanks.